Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today we are doing three looks, one palette with some final thoughts at the end on the Bare Minerals Aurora Lats palette. This eye look is not from this palette, but I forgot to film an intro, so I'm here now. Anyway, a lot of these eye looks, I've done them just before I've gone to work. The first eye look, once you see the wear test, I actually didn't use this palette for about two weeks because it made me mad. And so in the second one, I do use similar shades, but a different shimmer. The final look is probably a bit more interesting, but I definitely a lot more chilled out in this video. I would times two speed this if you're going to watch it or check out the description bar for where to skip to for my thoughts and swatches because swatches are fun. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I absolutely appreciate it and adore you. Here we go. All right, welcome to look number one. This is a work look. So today I've got the NARS primer is on both eyes and let's go in and see what we can create. We so I'm going to go in and just set this primer with 500 thread count. Then I'm just going to go in with wavelength. Okay, and then let's go in with louder. And I'm just gonna use my finger because I don't have much time today. And then some Presto on the inner corner. I'm just gonna blend out the edges of the shadow. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna put a little dab of perspective. But anyway, this is my final sort of basic work look. All right, we'll I'll be back in a wear test in a minute. All right, hello, about 13 hours later. Uh, this did not hold up well. After about two hours, it was already gone. I didn't get a picture because I was at work and tired. Tireder than I am now. But it's just deteriorated throughout the day. So I don't know. Well, anyway, see you for the next look. Good morning and welcome to look number two, the Aurora Lights. I've already laid down the eyeshadow, the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and original. I'm just going to go in with a nice simple look today. It's 6, 10 in the morning. I need to get my shit together and go to work. I'm going to go in with Wavelength. And we're just going to bring this into the crease. I haven't set the primer. This is my second time using this primer, so I'm still still learning its ways. It's quite sticky though. So I'm just going very gently just to give this some definition. Same brush. Going in with perspective. Hmm. That's fun. And let's just get a shimmer. I feel like I probably haven't put romp on. Where is it? Romp this pinky one here. And I'm just going to pat this all over my lid. So I'm going to put Presto. Oh, I nearly forgot to put something underneath my eye. I'm going to go back into wavelength. Alright, now I'm just going to put mascara on. I'll be back. I just put mascara on NARS Climax and I got child star on my lips. Let's bring you in for a little look, sis. And I'll 
I'll be back later tonight in like 13 hours. All right, let's bring in wear test. Wear test time. Ooh. It's definitely moved around. No loss, but it's kind of just meshed into my lid more. The silverish gold is gone. And this one. Oh, yeah. The glitter's got up here and then it's not there anymore. Well, that's funny. I mean, I feel like it's still an acceptable look though. Hello, hello, and welcome to the third look. I've laid down the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer, and we're gonna get started. I don't actually have to not go to work, so I don't think I'm gonna do a work look today. But let's go in, and we're gonna use 500 thread count. Also, to be honest, I've forgotten what the first look is. But I'm feeling like just setting down this eyeshadow today. And then I'm going to go into Delightful. The same brush and I'm just going to hopefully help define the crease a little bit. I don't know, I can't, I can barely see. Oh, oh yeah, it's there. Let's go into Force Field. This looks like a bit of a navy thing going on. Alright, and we don't have to do a work look today. Oh, I'm actually really excited and I want to go into this green. Dazzle. And sorry, I'm doing fingers. I know I'm, I'm like the worst. Oh. And then I'm just going to put, oh, I'm going to try this. I will think I'm going to go for Comet in the other corner. Damn. And this is a brush that Annette gave me, and it's the M149. Um, I absolutely see what she means now. All right, and going under the eye, I'm just going to put a little bit of brown. I'm going to use Wavelength. I do wish Dazzle was a bit more bang. It's not bad though. Alright, I'm just going to do mascara. You might as well hang out for that. Let's do Hourglass, my little sample. This is like all I live in lately is samples. I just realised I forgot eyeliner. Let's go in with Freak from Urban Decay just to try and brighten this look up a little bit. There we go, and we are complete. So it's like a basic, pretty basic look. I kind of hate what's going on. I'm going to use my finger again. I'm going to go on some Meteor Shower and just see if that'll dazzle a little bit for me. And then let's just add in a little bit of extra. What's going on here? Using a force field. All right. So I tried to fix it. Let's bring you back in. But you can see I got fallout. I hate fallout. But I kind of like it more with the green and the blue. Right, and then we're just coming in with a little checkeroo. I use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And we are about five hours in. So it's nearly 1 p.m. And it's not too bad. There's a bit of loss up here. Transfer normal for me. This one uh, just didn't want to blend well at all. 
transfer pretty norms not too bad I think better than the first days were so let's rock on through <laughs> I'm gonna go old school we're gonna do my full face swatches we're just gonna start from the top going this way and then this way oh just ignore that <laughs> look at that hair dye all right well I've got a bit of hair dye on me and just ignore that bit of blush but this is spotlight that's 500 thread count it's a very light color that color interstellar venus stardust wavelength galaxy comet and force field <laughs> Next ray, so we're going presto, delightful, catch me if you can, romp, louder, Santorini, meteor shower, dazzle, perspective. So that's all the colors that they have. The shimmers look really nice. You can see it's a very cool toned kind of palette. And I do just wonder, I'm just gonna put a little catch me if you can. Yeah, yeah. So, so final thoughts on this palette. These, the mattes that are in it are very like super pale people, even paler than me potentially. But they do look nice. Comet has become a favorite of mine for the inner corner. I love that silver. There is quite a lot of shimmers and different variety to play with in a cool tone palette. And I don't think there's that many of them in this market. This definitely feels a hole in my collection, but I don't think it's necessary. I think if you love a cool tone look, this is really good. And it really has the potential to do nice nighttime wear and daytime wear. The wear on this hasn't been that good on my oily lids and the shimmers haven't stuck as well. I think it definitely just needs gl glitter glue to get it to work really well. But it's definitely, I think, a relatively unique pattern. But if you're darker than me, you're going to struggle with pretty much all, all of these shades, I think, here. Meaning only this palette. And I wonder if that's worth your hard-earned coin. I think it's very beautiful. It's pretty. I do like the packaging. Um, yeah, I'm happy I bought it. I don't think I really, but, and it's definitely got a nice variety. It's definitely more a palette I would go to for work looks and I wouldn't think to pull it out for that green or that blue again. They just didn't really wow me today, but I definitely will try it again with glitter glue. Yeah, I think you definitely need glitter glue to make those shimmers pop. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I appreciate and adore you. Mwah. Uh-huh.